Thank you for choosing Vanson for your racing leathers. Our suits have been protecting racers and riders since 1974. Please pause the video for a moment to review these general instructions. If you do not have a Vanson measuring device, use the instructions to make one. Before we start, make sure to place a Vanson measuring device in its proper location. The Vanson measuring device is positioned at the belly button. Make sure the VDM is parallel to the floor to ensure proper measurements. Now let's begin measuring for the Vanson suit starting with section A in the measuring form. Starting at the neck, take the widest measurement over the Adam's apple. We have a measurement of 16 inches. With this measurement, go down 3 inches from the top of the collarbone, then take the upper chest measurement from the points where the arms meet the torso. Our measurement is 17 inches. Larger riders take this measurement the same way. Go down 3 inches from the top of the collarbone, then take the upper chest measurement from the points where the arms meet the torso, making sure to feel for these points. When taking the chest measurement at the widest point, make sure to keep the tape parallel to the floor. Here we have 44 inches. Larger riders take the chest measurement a couple of times to make sure you have the widest point. Again, make sure to keep the tape parallel to the floor. We now move to the waist, making sure the Vanson measuring guide hasn't shifted and is still parallel to the floor. We take the measurement. We've got 37 and a quarter inches. Larger riders, there is no difference in taking this measurement. The only thing we ask is that the Vanson suit measuring device is correctly placed and parallel to the floor. If not, your suit will not fit properly. The belt line measurement is taken by placing the tape just above the belt. Make sure the tape is at the same level on the sides of the body. Here the measurement is 38 inches. Larger riders make sure your belt is at the point where you normally have it. Take the measurement the same way, just at the top of the belt. The hip measurement is taken at the widest point of your hips with the tape parallel to the floor. Our measurement is 40 and a half inches. Starting two inches down from the crotch, take your thigh measurement. We've got 22 inches. Feel for the kneecap and measure around the knee. Here it is 16 inches. The calf is measured at its widest point. Again, it is advisable to take this a couple of times to make sure you have the largest measurement. Our measurement is 15 and 3 quarter inches. The ankle measurement is taken just above the ankle bone. We've got 9 and a half inches. The bicep is measured at the widest point with the arm bent and the muscle flexed. Here ours is 14 inches. The forearm measurement is taken at the widest point with the fists clenched. 
Again, it is advisable to take this a couple of times so you have the largest measurement. Our measurement is 11 and a quarter inches. This measurement is taken at the wrist bone. We've got seven inches. Section A is now complete. Any questions on the measurements should be addressed before continuing to the next section. All right, let's continue with section B from the measuring form. Using the measuring device as a starting point, straighten the tape while using either a second tape or a string measuring down from the Vanson measuring device to the waist. Our measurement is six and a half inches. Continuing down the leg from the previous measurement, we will take the waist to thigh measurement. We've got 13 inches. Moving down to the knee, our measurement from the waist to knee is 20 and 1 half inches. The outseam measurement is from the waist to the ankle. Our measurement is 37 and a half inches. The next measurement is knee to ankle. We've got 17 inches. This now brings us to step 19, our first measurement check. Subtract your waist to knee measurement from the outseam measurement. The total should be the same as the knee to ankle bone measurement. If they don't match, take the measurements over. Now we can continue to the wrist to inner elbow measurement. We've got nine and a half inches. The next measurement is crotch to mid knee. While keeping the leg straight, measure down to the mid knee. Our measurement is 10 and a half inches. We now measure from crotch to ankle. We have 27 and a half inches. This now brings us to step 23, our second measurement check. Subtract your crotch to knee measurement from the inseam measurement. The result should be the same as your knee to ankle bone in step 18. Ours was 17. Section B is now complete. Any questions on measurements should be addressed before continuing to the next section. Okay, let's continue with section C and D from the measuring form. Section C, step 24, is measurements A to B. We start from the base of neck to the center of the Vanson measuring device. We've got 17 and a half inches. Larger riders, as previously shown, take the measurements at the base of the neck to the center of the Vanson measuring device. Make sure you are relaxed during this measurement. Step 25 is measurement B to C. We start from the center of the Vanson measuring device down to the crotch. Our measurement is 13 inches. We now move over to section D, step 26, with a measurement from the base of the neck to the crotch. Ours is 30 and a half inches. This now brings us to step 27. Yep, another measurement check. This time, add your measurements in st from steps 24 and 25. The result should be the same as step 26. Your total should be within one half inch. Ours was spot on at 30 and one half inches.
Let's continue in section C, measurement E to D. We start at the base of the back of the neck, the center of the Vanson measuring device. Our tape shows 18 and 3 quarter inches. Larger riders start at the base of the back of the neck to the center of the Vanson measuring device. Let the tape follow the contour of your back. Next in section C is step 29, C to D. From the back center of the Vanson measuring device, we measure down to the crotch. We've got 17 and a half inches. Moving over to section D, step 30, we take the measurement E to C, starting from the base of the back of the neck, measured down to the crotch. Our measurement is 36 inches. Now for step 31, another measurement check. Add your measurements in steps 28 and 29. The result should be the same as step 30. Your totals should be within one half inch. Ours was off by one quarter inch within the margin so we can continue to step 32. Back to section C, step 32, measurements B to D. This measurement starts in the front at the center of the Vanson measuring device through the crotch to the back center of the measuring device. We've got 30 inches. Step 33 is another measurement check. Add your measurements in steps 25 and 29. The result should be the same as step 32. Your total should be within one half inch. Again, ours is spot on at 30 inches. On to step 34. Moving over to section D, measurement A to E. Start from the base of the neck in the front through the crotch to the base of neck in the back. Our measurement totaled 66 and one half inches. This brings us yet again to another measurement check. This is the last for this section. Add your measurements in steps 26 and 30. The result should be the same as step 34. Your total should be within one half inches. Boy, we're good. Our measurement was spot on again at 60 and a half inches. Section C and D is now complete. Any questions regarding measurements should be addressed before continuing to the next section. Okay, let's continue with section E from the measuring form. Measurements for this section will be using the belt line. Step 36, measure from A to F. Start at the base of the neck and measure to the top of the belt line. We've got 19 inches. Larger riders with a relaxed posture start at the base of the neck and measure to the waistband. Then continue to the top of the belt line, making sure to follow the contour of the belly. Next is step 37, measurement F to C. This measurement starts at the top of the belt line down to the crotch. Our measurement is 11 and a half inches. Step 38 is G to F, belt line to belt line. Measure from the top of the belt in the front through the crotch to the top of the belt in the back. We've got 27 inches. Step 39 is measurement G to C. This measurement is from the back of the top of the belt line to the crotch. Our measurement is 15 and a half inches. Our last measurement for this section is step 40, E to G. Start from the back base of the neck to the top of the back belt line. We've got 20 inches. Larger riders with a relaxed posture start at the back base of the neck and measure to the waistband then continue to the top of the belt line, 
making sure to follow the contour of the back. Section E is now complete. Any questions on measurements should be addressed before continuing to the next section. Let's continue with Section F from the measuring form. From the kneeling position, we are going to take the next measurement. Measuring from the side, we measure from the center of the Vanson measuring device to the floor. We've got 23 inches. Now the next few measurements will be seated on a hard stool with feet on the floor. Step 42 is A to B. Sitting straight up, measure from the base of the neck to the center of your Vanson measuring device. Our measurement is 16 inches. This measurement is taken with you bent forward in your most extreme riding position. Measure from the base of the neck to the top of the belt line. We've got 23 and a half inches. Place the tape around the knee, then bend the leg and read the measurement. Ours is 17 and a quarter inches. For the final measurement of this section, while seated, measure from the side starting at the center of the Vanson measuring device to the top of the stool. We've got 10 inches. Section F is now complete. Again, any questionable measurements should be addressed before continuing to the next section. Let's continue with Section G from the measuring form. Back to a standing position, we are going to measure across the shoulders from M to N in Step 46. First, feel for the point of the shoulders. We will measure from the point of shoulder to point of shoulder following the curve of the back, not a straight across. measurement here is 17 inches. Larger riders measure across the shoulders from end to end feeling for the point of shoulders and follow the curve of the back, the same as seen earlier. Step 47 is step 46 divided by 2. Our result is 8.5 inches. Now we'll measure for sleeve length in step 48. Start from the point of shoulder and measure to wrist. Our measurement is 22. Larger riders Take the measurement from point of shoulder down to the wrist. In step 49, we take step 48 measurement of 22 inches and add it to the 8.5 inch measurement from step 47 and then add 1.5 inches. Our total is 32. This number should equal the next measurement in step 50. For step 50, from the back base of the neck, we measure around the elbow to the wrist. Our measurement is 32, the same number as the equation in the previous step. Larger riders, make sure to follow the contour of the body when measuring from the base of neck around the elbow to the wrist for the arm bent as shown. Section G is now complete. Again, as before, any questionable measurements should be addressed before continuing to the next section. This next section, Section H, is required for the female racer measuring for advancing. We'll start out with Step 51. With the tape across the back, take the measurement above the bust as shown.
For step 52, put the tape across the same area of the back. Now take the circumference of the bust at its largest point. Again, with the tape across the back, now measure the circumference below the bust. For step 54, start your measurement from the back base of neck over the shoulder to the fullest part of the bust. Step 55 is measurement from apex to apex. Our last measurement is from the front of the Vanson measuring device over the bust and shoulder to the back of the measuring device. Section H is now complete. Any questionable measurements, again, should be addressed before continuing to the final section. Now that all of your measuring is done, make sure you have completely filled out the ordering form. Double check your option selections, your colors and suit design, then send it to Vanson. Whether you're new to Vanson or a current customer, we would like to thank you for choosing us for your writing protection. Welcome to the Vanson family.